Here you go, my friends. 10 tips to make better beats instantly. Number one, using halftime in a creative way. Some of you have this Cable Guys plugin, which is awesome, by the way. But for those who don't, I can show you a trick in Grove's beat. First, go to your melody in the channel rack and set it to a mixer track. Once it's done, open up the mixer and go to your melody track. Make sure it's selected and go to the effects rack. In here, find the Grove's beat effect. Once it's open, go to the top right preset menu and find Momentary. Then in the slot menu on the left, choose half speed. There you go. Now with the mix knob you can adjust the mix between the original and the slow version. Now, here comes the trick. Let's say you want to make the intro to the chorus more interesting. Then you can right click the mixer knob in Gross Beat and then choose Automation Clip. Then the Automation Clip will appear back in the playlist. Create a simple animation curve from the intro into the chorus. That sounds awesome. Now, trick number two, fixing your muddy mix by sidechaining the reverb with your drums. To do that, make sure all your drums are linked to a mixer track. Then in the mixer, hold down control and drag to select all the drum tracks. Then go to an empty mixer track and right click on the bottom. Choose link to this track only. Now we can apply effects on this mixer and they will be applied to all the drums at once. Now, speaking of effects, with the drum bus selected, find the fruity P controller. Now again, this effect works on all these drums. Next, go to the reverb track and open up the reverb effect together with the fruity p controller now right click the wet slider and choose link to controller then set it to peak control peak and set the mapping formula to invert it then click on accept now you can use the bass controller to adjust the amount of ducking that happens when the drums play you can literally see the wet slider move when this is happening There you go. It's time for trick number three, spicing up your chords by adding seventh notes. These will make your chords sound chill and calm. Take a look at this chord progression. Beautiful. Now, to make it more jazzy and cozy, add another highlighted note on top of the chords. These are called seventh notes and they're used a lot in lo-fi, jazz and other genres. Definitely experiment with it. Number four, this is actually a free download for you guys. It's an infograph that contains years of music experience all on one page. From powerful chord progressions to amazing scales and a frequency cheat sheet that will help you create amazing mixes. So click the link down below to learn more. And now trick number five, a simple loud and hard master chain for your beats. First, go to the master track and in the effects rack, find the fruity compressor. Once it's open, we're gonna glue everything together. These settings usually work fine for my trap and hip hop beats so you can copy my settings if you'd like. But again, definitely experiment with it yourself. Now, underneath the compressor, open up a soft clipper. Then underneath the soft clipper, open up a limiter. Make sure they're both opened up. Then on the limiter, turn the ceiling all the way up because we don't need to limit anything yet. Now, turn down the saturation around minus two or three decibels to leave a little headroom. Next, in the soft clipper, decrease the threshold and increase the post gain until you see the sound waves hitting the red bar we set in the limiter. There you go. It's time for trick number six. This one is very underrated, but you guys need to take breaks. I walk away from the studio at least every 30 minutes, just, you know, to reset my ears. I go grab a coffee or just go for a quick walk. Otherwise, I just get too used to hearing my project and that will blind me from seeing or hearing mistakes. Now, when you come back from your break, you will hear your music from a different perspective. Trick number seven, let's talk about music theory. If you want to study it, that's good, but try to keep it simple. If you're just making beats, you don't need to be Mozart. And that is because FL has all the tools you need to make professional sounding music with very little music theory. I personally know music theory, which is why I know this. In the piano roll, you can set scale helpers by right clicking the music note on top. Choose a scale, for example, A minor. Now, all the notes you can use are highlighted for you in the piano roll. You can still use the notes in between, but if you enable the lock toggle, you can only use the notes in your scale. Don't get me wrong, you should definitely learn the very basics of music theory, but I'll make a video about that soon. Now, trick number eight. Your 808s are too long and are overlapping. Now, let me fix it for you. In the channel rack, open up your sample in the sampler. Then go to the envelope tab and in here, decrease all the knobs to zero, except for the hold button. Turn this one all the way up. Now in the piano roll, the 808 will play for the duration of the note you draw. It's that simple. Now, finally, I want to help you guys mix your beats so that they sound perfectly fine. And you can learn everything about that in the video on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay creative.